Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. Hi, I am Natasha Burnett. I am a British actress and singer who found her way in Canada and now can be seen on When Calls the Heart as Minnie Canfield. Joining this show has been an experience like I have never had before. I mean, just being so successful already, it was really just a pleasure and an honor to join the cast and be able to be integrated with Holly and the storylines and the other characters. And uh, the cast, the crew, everyone is so welcoming and they've been there so long that they make you feel so comfortable. So there was really never a time that I felt uh, out of place or that I wasn't sure what I was doing. Everyone just rallied around. It was just really nice. Oh, wow, the Hearties. Now, <laughs> I knew about the Hearties. I was not prepared for how just dedicated they were like nothing I've ever seen before you you all had been so uh, all the messages of encouragement and it really helps actually every week every time we see your tweets it really helps us understand what you see when you watch the Carol storyline and it it really helps us um, know that we're going in the right direction so yeah it's been it's been amazing to have the hearties on our side. It has been such a fun experience just to go from being so serious and protective initially to then just having fun in the kitchen is, oh my gosh, it was something that uh, I didn't quite realise how liberating it would feel to go from playing such they're not extreme personalities but just seeing so many different sides of her which I really love because it almost rounds her out really well as a human being and as a character so it's just really nice also when the hearties tell me that they can relate to different elements of her personality really great to be able to go from different storylines with different characters and just blend with different energies. So yeah, having the comedy element there with uh, Jack Wagner and Eva is, it was, was just a gem. Really, I mean, that pudding scene was really the, the funnest for me to play. Just my, just, my reactions and um, just doing things the way Minnie would, I, I just found it really fun and exciting. Let me, I really did like, uh, I mean, obviously I actually really like what's coming up, <laughs> but I also really like, uh, I think it was in episode seven, when we were in the church and I told uh, Joseph to stay and be the pastor. And I just really liked that scene because it was just a really delicate moment, a really intimate moment. And it was just a very meaningful moment that I'm really glad that everyone else connected with as well. Well, actually, um, because of the eloquence needed, um, it, it ran very closely to a lot of British language um, because of the time period as well. So it was, I would probably say maybe easier then to recreate that particular um, tone for Minnie and the accent for Minnie because um, I could just slightly adjust certain words so they did sound British and they would still work within, within the time period. Ooh, uh, if there was a season nine, it would be really nice to um, just see the Camfields go on a slightly different journey now, because I think this season we just saw them um, 
get to know people in Hope Valley and get to know Hope Valley as a town and decide whether they really want to be there or not. So it would be quite nice to actually see where they go from there. Um, because I think it was a nice starting off point and it set us up really nicely. So if we can keep going, it would be really nice to see Minnie do her own thing. And is she going to stay in Abigail's? Would she try something else? And uh, just see where the family goes as a whole. And uh, with Joseph being the pastor and things like that, where does Minnie, would she fit into that? And uh, school for Angela, all of those things. There's a lot to explore, really. Okay, so the audition was a self-tape because um, at the time I was actually already in the UK and uh, my agent sent me the tape and um, I, I remember when I put it on tape, watching it a hundred times like I do with every self-tape and just I just thought I can't think of another way to play mini. I, I feel like this just has to be mini. And, you know, if, if the showrunner doesn't see mini this way, then this role is definitely not for me. And um, so I let my agent know, as I always do, I sent him the tape and I said, just let me know if, if they shortlist me or anything. So I know if I need to get on a plane, of course. <laughs> and um, yeah, he let me know that I was shortlisted and, uh, I had about 36 hours to get on a plane and get back to Canada so I could quarantine, take all my tests and be ready to, to shoot. It was really, really quick. I, I was really nervous about the whole situation, um, not just because of COVID, because everything was so fast. And I was like, is there going to be enough time? Are they going to change the dates? Will we be able to make this work? Yeah, so there was a, a lot going on. I did actually get booked off the one self tape. That that I mean I mean that shocked me even. <laughs> I, was, I was surprised. Uh, but yes, that that's yeah pretty much what happened. Um, I had done a show that was uh, based on Greek mythology. Um, I hadn't done a traditional um 18th 19th century show before even though that's very very common in England to to we have so many of those um and it actually was something I would have wanted to do while I was in the UK um if I'd had the opportunity so it's great that I have the opportunity now so I was quite excited to wear the costumes because um, just always, I'm generally a casual person. So finally having to sit up straight and uh, put my shoulders back and all of those things, it's sometimes nice to do that for a change. Uh, so I loved, oh my goodness, some of the fabrics were just fabulous. And oh, she just kept, picking out Barbara kept picking out loads of different colors for me and we were just playing a lot we had actually a long period of time because um, of my quarantine and everything we needed to do everything in one go so there was we spent a lot of time just going through so many color palettes and that I don't wear lots of color and all of a sudden I was like oh purple I like that and orange oh wow that looks really good and yeah some of the materials were just oh they were just so soft and beautiful yeah it was just it was just great to be able to wear those costumes so in the UK we don't usually uh we don't know Hallmark really, really well for chat for a channel. We don't really get it in the UK. So I knew of Hallmark, I knew of Hallmark movies. And then when I moved to Canada, uh, I knew, especially in Vancouver, they filmed so many of them. And it was definitely something that I felt would be an opportunity to get to know a network quite well if they film so much. And um, I did actually book, I think my first Hallmark 
Peter DeLuise, the director, he was the one that cast me in my first homework here called Harvest Moon. And then actually my, Mike Roll, he cast me in my next view um, that we worked with uh, for a few episodes on When Calls the Heart. So um, it was actually great to work with them again um and see them again so yeah I I did know Hawkmark and they knew me kind of but maybe maybe not as well as they do now <laughs> oh my gosh okay so <laughs> whenever somebody asks me this question I always have one answer and a hybrid name I came up with Team Luthen so whenever anyone asks me, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> um, both of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I am currently about to start working on a movie. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when it's actually probably going to air in about four or five months, I, I, I guess. But um, yeah, I should be starting that soon. So that will be something nice to look out for. Um, last show I binge watched was The Baker and the Beauty on Netflix. It's such I, I was not expecting what I saw it's a really good show it's a really good show it was cancelled by ABC and then um because of the pandemic I guess Netflix picked it up and it's just soared to great heights it's such an amazing show watch it if you can <laughs> oh okay so my journey started when I was let's see when I was about 16 my friend in school um got me involved in a younger generation theater group because theater is so big in the uk anyway um and i did that for a few years and i i really quite enjoyed that and then i wasn't sure uh whether i wanted to go to a drama school or what i really wanted to do so i just kind of stayed as a background worked as an extra for a while just to see how i felt about things and um I saw an audition for a Motown show for Diana Ross, uh, decided I was going to just go and try my luck and go and audition. And um, I booked that role. And uh, I ended up touring as Diana Ross for about six years. Um, and then I just think I decided I wanted to do something different. And uh, for some reason, I just completely threw caution to the wind and just moved to a different country. Um, do you know, I'm in the beginning, and I think every actor might say this, that, you know, that's the place they want to go and they want to end up. Um, now for me i would probably say you know if there's a reason to be there if there's something i can be doing something i can be working on i would absolutely go for sure thank you for watching the sarah scoop show head to sarahscoop.com for more